terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. You got to love Christopher Rayleigh. <laughs> Director of the FBI. Yeah. Uh, reacting in outrage yesterday that anyone would accuse him of censoring conservatives. Yeah. Well, honey, a court found you guilty of censoring conservatives. That's why your agency received that injunction from the judge ordering you to stop censoring conservatives. And in the 155 page injunction, which I've read, it documents how you censored almost exclusively conservatives. So he's literally under oath, this FBI director. No, no, I, I take offense. Yeah, I, I, we would never. We've already had a federal judge's finding that you censored conservatives, and that's why you are not, Christopher Ray, allowed, according to the court order, the federal court order, to have you or anyone from your agency even talk to social media anymore. Yeah, but those court orders, those only apply to Republican or Trump administration officials, though. Tara, you know that. Well, unfortunately, Christopher Ray is a Trump administration official. Well, yeah, he was appointed he was by, but appointed he's not by now. Trump. He's not, yeah. but yeah. No, he was so bad, Biden kept it. Oh, I know. Yeah, um, exactly. But, yes. but, but yeah, so, but that's where we are. So this is, this is insane. Okay, when you have a guy who's been censored by the FBI, liberal journalist Matt Taibbi, lose his mind over this yesterday, what came out. This is how bad this is. I'm just going to read it. Yesterday, a House committee, Republican-led, but still, why does he write that? Because he's a Democrat. Yesterday, a House committee, Republican-led, but still, released a series of documents showing, without a doubt, that the FBI has been forwarding thousands of content moderation requests to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube on behalf of the SBU, Ukraine's security agency. The documents not only contain incontrovertible evidence that our own FBI pressures tech companies to censor material, but that the Bureau is outsourcing such work to foreign governments. In this case, Ukraine. The pet, and, and he's got, they, they have an email here. It's um, from the chief thug in charge at the FBI, Alexander uh, Kobzanich, uh, to Meta. Subject, Facebook and Instagram accounts spreading disinformation. Please see attached request from the SBU, that is the Ukrainian Intelligence Service, containing Facebook and Instagram accounts believed to be spreading disinformation. The SBU requested your review and... Uh, you know, it goes on, blah, blah, blah. I'll give you two. I, I give you, uh, I'll give you a call tomorrow morning to discuss your team's availability for our meeting. On the spreadsheet, Lee, we're over 15,000 accounts they want to take it down. Wow. Including journalists and um, the Russian, the, the official State Department of the United States of America, Russian language Twitter account of the federal government, of the State Department. They wanted that shut down. Wanted it yanked. Yeah. 15,000 accounts targeted for deletion. There's no follow-up, so we don't know how many were deleted. Um, but uh, also done uh, in a journalist whose account we know was taken down because the FBI said so. Here's where it gets weirder and dumber, exponentially dumber. The FBI, I guess, didn't realize that the SBU is infiltrated with Russians. That's the Ukrainian intelligence service. Mm -hmm. And that the Russians in the intel service, who were going back and forth with the FBI, according to the Washington Times, were having some of those 15,000 that were requested to come down were Americans criticizing, wait for it, Vladimir Putin. Since the FBI just took the list wholesale from the Ukrainian intelligence service and didn't check too good what it was they wanted deleted and censored, the FBI censored you and me on behalf of Russia. Now, these are the guys who were so smart and so much gooder and so much better and such better thinkers and really tuned into disinformation and all that they have to take these posts down. I mean, Lee, we just have to. We have no choice. Because disinformation, right? Yeah. Russia course. bad. Yeah, absolutely. Russia bad. It was, you know, people have to be censored. I mean, it's for the first time ever, we're not going to make it unless we're censored. Censored for who? Oops. Russia.
And it's not surprising. I mean, it's it's a daha common sense thing. In fact, if the FBI had simply read the accounts they were censoring, what they would know is that Ukraine is a very divided fa- place. Mm-hmm. And Ukrainian elections for a very long time have tilted back, but the country split about 50-50 between the pro-Russian faction, they want to be ruled by Russia because many of them are ethnically Russian, or they have family members who are, and then the anti-Russian side, and they're split. So they, the, this is a country that's actually a, a elected Russian leaders. So that is why their intel agency is split just like the country, between those who are literally Russian agents and those who are literally Ukrainian agents. So the Russian agents are like, Oh, these idiots at the FBI will take down accounts. Cool. Any, yeah, we'll have anything. Yes, these we're going to give you a list of accounts that criticize Vladimir Putin. We don't like that. They sent it to Facebook. Sent it to Instagram. Washington Times got it. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.